You can see it, line of sight, tornado right there. Whether it's one or not, you're witnessing it with your very own eyes live right here from Brandon Coppock in Greenfield, Illinois. And this is showing you that rotation at the surface rising all the way up. Now, thankfully, it's over a rural area and some debris uh, and some uh, farmland picking up some debris like dirt. But on the left hand side, you are seeing a tree line and a possibility of some communities downwind of this. Now, this looks like some very broad rotation. А потом у меня сегодня всем на зависть, короче, поле, вот, середина поля, и тут хуяк, кусок поля в шахту ушел просто, да, на двадцатой, глубина там ебать, аж смотреть страшно, ну, короче, не видно какая там глубина, вот эту хуйню мне сегодня надо отсыпать. Такое себе, блядь. Хуй знает, мне надо вот просто, блядь, на ровном месте. Тут ничего не было. Now at five, Ohio, the heart of it all. Now the heart of tornado season. We've got a brand new tornado warning out for Portage County and Trumbull County here in northeastern Ohio. With yet another round of severe storms devastating neighborhoods across our state. News 5 tracking every moment to help you stay safe. It's coming in from the south and west, so I want you to put as many walls between you and the storm as possible. The storm spawned several tornadoes, a pattern that's now become routine. All of a sudden I saw like a big cloud swirling and I'm like, eh, that doesn't look right. We need to get downstairs. Leaving us familiar scenes of homes, businesses and communities ripped apart. It's just kind of latest on this landslide in the Bayalubwe commune of Kwilu province? Around 60 bodies are still, 60 people are still missing after that flood and 15 bodies have been discovered and a majority it was women bodies and this is after the rain which caused a lot of floodings you know the zone is in the Kasai river which is a river of a part of the Congo River and that zone is now in a big danger because there is no road to access even for the rescue team except volunteers from the Red Cross, Red Cross and also the Cyber Society are doing their best to look for bodies because there is no chance anymore to find uh, missing people alive. What is the government doing to help those affected by the landslide? 